So basically we decided to stay wanna keep it transparent because I don't want people to always think we just always good because that ain't real life. That ain't like every marriage go through stuff. You ain't having a little disagreement today. Um and it's because something I have not shared with y'all. I have been hiding from y'all. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is a large Wow, look at this. House, honey. It is a single story, but y'all. It just got a lot of character. Look at the windows, they're black. What's up, E gang? It's your girl Ebony Elbow back to you with another vliggity vlog. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, baby, because you're gonna like it. And welcome back to my OGs. So, this morning, y'all saw like a little B roll. Um, we got some things to talk about, girl. Girl, just go ahead and um, have a seat and let's just talk. So, it's some shit I ain't told y'all. And yeah, first of all, happy Sunday. Did I say that? We ain't even finna start off like that. What's up? What's up, girl? What's 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 tea? What they say? What's tea? Um. Anyway, yeah, I I had a productive morning. Um. But yeah. So, what should I start with first? Okay, where we about to go now? Okay, so where we about to go? I need to. Okay. Y'all, I'm all over the place. Okay, let me tell y'all what I need to tell y'all, and then we'll I tell y'all where we about to go. Okay, so one thing, where we decided to move. So I shared this with the E gang members um a few weeks ago, um in a members only live. So that's one of the perks of being a member for only ninety nine cents a month. They get to find out stuff first and. You get to see some they're gonna they're gonna get to see some stuff that y'all won't get to see because you're supposed to give perks to your members i'm sure y'all understand it's a business um and then um so long story short i don't know if i know how to make oh feeling a little better today is sunday finally i did not cut my camera on yesterday if you watched my last vlog I was sick. I ended up getting sick as a dog yesterday, y'all. I did not leave my house, and I don't like... I'm not a girl that like to lay around all day. I did not like it. Oh, my God. I literally did not leave my house yesterday. I lay in the bed all day. It was miserable. I couldn't breathe. I was... Child, I feel a little better today. But anyway, so what I was telling y'all was, long story short, y'all know, if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Ebony, they call me Elbow. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we were deciding to move between Jacksonville, where I live, and I'm a native, or Atlanta, where my sister lived, and my niece is there. My sister passed, my niece is still there. So, um, a lot of things start going on in the interim. Um, and y'all know my dad went to a, a um, 
a nursing home. My mom had triple bypass surgery, which she still ain't completely healed from. She had to go back to the hospital, had to have another, it was, I didn't even tell y'all, she had to have another procedure after the triple bypass because she had fluid on her um, lungs. So um, my parents are getting older. My daddy is in his 70s, 70s. My mom is about to be 70, um, almost 70. And they're just getting older. My sister has passed. Um, my husband has intractable epilepsy, which is um, basically incurable. Um, his physicians are here, even though we're reaching out for a third opinion, his physicians are here. So y'all, um, my business is here. My business is doing really well. I have a janitorial service. Um, we had a auto body and mechanic shop, if you don't know, a hater burned it down. Um, y'all, oh God, y'all, and I talked to the, um, to, I, uh, reached out to the detective because they supposed to have us an answer within 45 days. Um, they, y'all, why they came back and said, um, it's inconclusive, like, they couldn't determine whether it was arson because um the way that the bill which we know which he said he's 99 percent sure it was arson but the way that the, the structure fell the building um they couldn't get in there and the city did not want to pay for them to have all that stuff moved and stuff like basically that he couldn't get in there to see what he needed to see like um it was the building was made of steel it was brick but it was made of steel and that stuff was just too heavy it was too dangerous part of it was still up and you know it could have fell on his head at any time and they did not want to pay for for the resources to do a full and thorough investigation he closed it for now but he said it could always be reopened with any tips or anything would woo but nine times out of ten um it was arson so yeah the owner i did not tell y'all i'm just giving y'all a lot of updates in this video the owner ended up selling y'all know we were um we were leasing subcontracting the building so um the owner ended up selling the building um some man wanted to buy it my in fact boo connected the owner to the man who wanted to buy it so i do feel good about that because y'all i'm a person of integrity like i have a everything play on my conscience my heart strength and i felt bad that you know he lost his business due to somebody like somebody hating on boo like uh, you know in, in the end of the day somebody burned the building down that didn't like boo um I'm starting, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm serious. I'm starting to think it was the police. Like, if, and if you're new to the channel, you just gonna have to go back and binge watch some old videos. But I really do think it was the police, y'all. I'm so serious. I, I just think it was the police. Um, it, I can't wait till this investigation is closed by my husband being wrongfully arrested. Um, in this case so that I could really talk to y'all about everything. But I really do think it was the police. But anyway, um. My husband don't. My husband don't have enemies. My husband don't mess. My husband is cool, calm, and collected. He don't fuck with nobody. He don't have enemies. So, I mean, he got people who jealous of him. Anyway, y'all, I got ADHD. I'm so sorry if you're new to the channel. I just be here, there, there, there. Just hang with me, okay? So, what the hell I was telling y'all? Okay, so yeah, um. My business is flourishing. It's doing really, really good, y'all. I got something I'm working on. Can't wait to share it with y'all. But you know how you don't need to count the ducks till you get them. But this is something big that I'm working on on my janitorial service. But yeah, so basically, we decided to stay in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I just didn't need to leave my parents. Um, my brother is a truck driver. One, so um, I have another brother, an older brother. He's in prison and then that's from my dad and then my mom had three children my sister of course passed and then it's just me and my brother left my younger brother and he's not younger than me but he's the youngest of the boys and he's a truck driver so he's not really in jacksonville as often so um i need to be there for them you know um i would have had like if i would have been in atlanta y'all i would have had to keep coming back and forth back and forth back and forth um, of course, I would love to be there for my niece as well, but right now my parents need me on um, my business. I would have had to give up my business and switch everything because it's a different state. I would have had to switch everything over and start over. And I, my my son's physicians, he need to be here with his doctors. And we just thought collectively as a um 
met my husband and I collectively we made a decision that we needed to stay in Jacksonville so we are staying in Jacksonville we do plan on purchasing a home um also if you're new to the channel I had a home built and when my husband got sent to prison I lost it so um but we're not crying over spilled milk we're moving forward we move so we do plan on purchasing a home hence why y'all saw me look at a home in Jacksonville in the last video so I said let me go ahead and share this with y'all the e-gang members they knew but I wanted to come and share this with y'all yeah so y'all where we're going that's why where we're going right now is to look at a home um we're gonna go walk through a model home or whatever so that's why i want to come on here and tell y'all that and then child i got something else to tell y'all that i haven't told y'all y'all know boo is normally with me I won't say normally with me because we do stuff apart. I don't like we ain't like we always got to be together. But y'all know like Sundays is like a family day for us who been here for a while. And y'all see Boo? Where's Boo? Where's Waldo? So and I don't want to paint this narrative. I like to keep it real blood raw. I I pride myself on being transparent. And yeah, me and Boo for the most part we like this. We we vibe. We get along good. Like we really like. Of course, in the beginning. We're still newlyweds, so we used to fight and argue with me because that man don't fight or argue. He just be like, okay, okay. And then it made me mad because I be like, if you don't argue back with me, though, argue back with me. Like, that made me mad, er. And he just be like, okay. But anyway, I want to keep it transparent because I don't want people to always think we just always good because that ain't real life. That ain't, like, every marriage go through stuff. You ain't got to have no knockout. Like, we ain't fist fighting nothing like that. But, you know, every marriage has its ups and downs, disagreements, and today is one of those days where I just, I didn't want to be around Boo, and he probably didn't want to be around me, because, baby, when my mouth get to going, baby, I be on 10, you hear me? And, um, I just wanted, I, like I said, I just wanted to open up and share that with y'all, because some people just make everything seem like some people only want to talk about the good, and I don't think that's real life. If I only get on here and talk about the good, to each his own but i'ma just keep it real when i'm just that's just the only way i know how to be so we are having a little disagreement today um and it's because something i have not shared with y'all i have been hiding from y'all so also if you're new to the channel then you will know that my husband um is two things he loves dogs and race cars and he was a breeder and he had a race car um this race car was the upwards of a hundred thousand dollars um i did not agree with him putting so much money into a car especially before we purchased our home um that is something that me and my husband did not see eye to eye on and um the agreement was that when my husband because when especially when he lost the shop but the agreement was already made when he was in prison that the we would sell the car um I just never agreed with him putting that much I just don't think that's a financially smart decision to put that much money into a car um something tangible before you have all your ducks in a row and before we put we were homeowners and things like that so the agreement was to sell the car we made an agreement y'all the car could have sold for a minimum a minimum of 30,000 that's a minimum and that's just him just trying to get rid of it just trying to get rid of it and you know if you don't know everything was taken away from us we lost everything and it's it's a still ongoing investigation trying to recoup everything it don't work like that like y'all you just don't okay my husband out of jail we just don't get it back like it's a process um that I can't really talk about and I can't wait till it's over so I can tell y'all everything because I know y'all ain't never really got the full full story but yeah we had everything taken away from us um so we needed those funds like y'all know I had to I was out doing Uber and everything to sustain our um livelihood for my kids my husband wasn't here I was trying to do everything y'all like I was working probably a hundred hours a week between both of my jobs, Ubering it, just everything, so that we could make it. So, um, my husband knew I didn't agree with him. Like I, especially like some of the guys that, which like my husband say they don't owe him nothing. I feel different. I feel like nobody in the world owes you nothing. But I disagree with some of the the guys that he decided to hang around because when he went to jail. He ain't here for none of them. Like, none of them. Like, 
they were nowhere to be found. No, I, I take that back. One, they were nowhere to be found, and that's um, I ain't gonna say his name on him, but um, he helped me. He know who he is. He helped me even when my car was broke, but he didn't hear from them. So it's like when when he got out of jail, then okay, here come everybody with this little race car group. Woo, woo, woo. Um, so long story short, y'all, boo was supposed to just sell the car. We weren't supposed to be racing the car. We weren't supposed to, cause I know if he got to be got into the like racing the car, he was gonna go back into like mm -mm, no, just get rid of the car. We need this money. Um, you should have never put all this money in the car in the first place. Um, it's something that we did not agree on. Um, and basically he went behind my back. That's what I'm going to call it because he don't call it that. But when you don't tell me something, he went to race the car one day with these same boys who he didn't even hear from when he was in jail. Um, and ironically, the car blew up. The car blew up. The car blew up, y'all. Burnt the fuck up. Um, and me personally, I don't feel like it was a coincidence. And that's just me being honest. And Boo, he, I don't know, Boo think I'm like crazy. I really think somebody did something to the car. Um, it was, it was said that my husband had one of the fastest cars in the city. Hence all the money he put into it. And I just don't see how that the car would just blow up like that. That is just my opinion. I told my husband that. And, um, so boom, the money that we were going to take, which would have been the down payment for our new house, all of that, y'all. It is gone. The car blew up. The car is gone. The man who fixed the car, he said it don't come with a warranty, um, which he didn't say up front. It don't come with a warranty. Um, he don't guarantee. Uh, wait, what? And see, I'm more of a business type of person because I would have made sure all this was in writing everything before Boo even took the car to him. But he know I did not agree with putting as much money into the car, so he did stuff behind my back. And like I told Boo, when you do stuff that you ain't got no business, like a child, when you do, your mama tell you don't go here and you go, then that's when some shit happened. I hate that the car blew up because y'all, Boo, love that car. And that, it breaks my heart for him that the car blew up, but you were somewhere that you should not have been when you knew that we agreed to just get rid of the car so um yeah i don't think it was a coincidence i honestly think y'all could call me crazy i think somebody did something to the damn car that's just my opinion um this happened uh back in january y'all this was in january like right a few days before my birthday i want to say two days before my birthday right before i wasn't even finna take his ass to vegas with me y'all when i went to vegas i was so mad i was like no you're not going um we're past that we're over it now but i'm not gonna lie sometimes like today because y'all know i'm bipolar um i woke up and i was mad i'm human i was mad about that because that was enough money to get us you know not on top but to push us that it was a it was enough money where we could breathe you know like it was enough where we could breathe and i was upset about that today so you know i as some of us women do i'm not finna like fake it i brung it up i brung it up this morning and i had a whole i had an attitude i had an attitude now looking back at it i was i'm like girl it was not that deep like the what i did is to me it's still deep to me um that you just don't i think in a marriage like which he has learned his lesson he has apologized over and over and over and over and over he has apologized for it but um yeah, it was just kind of hurtful because first we lost the shop, y'all. The shop was on fire and not a car. Um, Boo don't think that nobody did nothing to the car. I'm, I'm not good with um, they so bear with me. Okay, he told me exactly what happened. Damn, it was some piece that went on right because the car ran off nitrogen, y'all. The car was the race car, it ran off nitrogen. Um, and something some piece went on right which he said is the the doing of the man who put the who built the car so boo the boo is hands down he don't think nothing happened to the car he think it's solely on the behalf of the man who built the car now the man did say he don't back like he don't warranty nothing but i will say this he did say that he will help boo rebuild the car um 
he did by um the man did by another shell a shell as in like the um the car like to put the motor in the, the actual car so um because the car is burnt the motor y'all know motors it's um it don't burn like you have it's some special kind of way you got to get rid of them so the motor didn't burn up um but the man is gonna help boo put the car back together but y'all it took over a year to build the car so that's not no money that we're just gonna get like right now so i was mad about that this morning and i didn't want his ass around me next to me near me so um we teach y'all to like boo is very calm he tried to um he tried to talk to me and, and you know it's girl girl when i get mad and i feel like i'm right about something but yeah i haven't told i didn't tell y'all i have not shared it with y'all and i did ask boo prior to us being mad today i had asked him you know is it okay if i share that with the e-gang and he did tell me that he it was okay in, in the beginning he did not want to talk about it but you know he did tell me that it was okay y'all i guess the camera was saying shut the hell up but it, it got too hot so anyway we're at this model house y'all let's go eat over here this shelf let's go into this model house and see what it's looking like um yeah this is a tall door i like this front door it's really really tall so let's go in okay the first bedroom pretty they always decorate them so pretty it's a good size i like how the closets have double doors y'all this is the builder that we looked at on the last video remember those really oversized windows really tall this is a full-size bed in here so i guess this is a nice size for like a kid's room and it even has a dresser so it even has a dresser Oh, that's cute <clears throat> look at this closet boo will appreciate this he hate those sliding doors standard size closet but it's cool okay nice floors this is standard the towel in the bathroom i like it <sighs> my camera got hot so I'm on my phone. Hey y'all. Mm-hmm. This is a big bathroom. Y'all know if y'all could tell. This is what I'm saying. I don't like. I don't like these inserts. But it's something you could change after. Brown cabinets in the bathroom. Quartz countertop. Nice. Do you even put something over here? <clears throat> nice size. I wonder what's the height of these ceilings. They're pretty high. Leaning closet. Oh, now this bedroom is a nice size too. Another full size bed. This is so cute. I love how these houses be staged. Look at that. That's cute. This is a really nice size. This is so Oh my God, this is cute. Oh, I wish I had a little girl. This is cute. And then another French door for the closet. Standard size. It's kind of like angled here. I don't know if y'all can see. This is nice. It's a nice size room. So cute. All right, third bedroom. Nice size again, another full size bed. I like how they're using full size beds to show you the size. So cute, cutely decorated. And then we still have another dresser in here. So I like that. <clears throat> smell, oh my God, this made me, just smelling these houses made me so excited, y'all. I can't wait to y'all see whatever house we choose. Oh my God, I can't wait. So nice. <clears throat> This is Brightland Homes, by the way. It's a new builder to Jacksonville. So let's keep going. This house has like a little walkway here. So that's nice. Foyer. Nice large table here. Kitchen. So I done did my side from breathing hard, y'all. I got a cold still. 
So I done did my little research. The cabinets come with the crown molding at the top. And the white is standard. On um, the backsplash, you can add for like $800. Oh, they did two colors. So they did the white and the brown. <laughs> Undermount fake is standard as well. Let's look at the pantry. Nice size. So let me show y'all the kitchen. Let me back up. It's cute. I think she said those are 36 inch cabinets. It's so that'll do. They're not 42, but they'll do because it has the crown molding. They're fine. Dining room is off here. Living room. Nice, nice size, open floor plan, pre-wired to hang the TV. Y'all look at the freaking um, glass doors. They're huge, really tall. Covered patio, standard, so cute. Really, really cute. Let me show y'all an overview like this. So y'all, let me show y'all the green, the uh, this house has like a loft well, on the first floor. So they call it like a game room. So let me show y'all. So this is the game room. It is huge, y'all. Look at it. It's really big. And I like this because most one story plans do not have this like loft game room. And y'all know big, boo is big on like a game room. So look at this, y'all. I like it. It's really big. Kids can do their homework and everything. This is just the HVAC, so I'm not gonna open that, but yeah. Natural light coming in. I like that. I believe this is your laundry room here. Yeah, this is a nice size laundry room. Yeah. All right, let's go to the master. All right, walking on down to the master. I like how it has a little window here and it's like on the opposite end of all the other rooms. So, oh my God, look at these three windows. I like this, really pretty. Okay, <clears throat> master. I don't think that's a king. I think it's a queen, but it's still big. Nice. Oh yeah, this is a nice size, y'all. Two nightstands, one night nightstands, my table, dresser. Put your TV here. Dip, baby, I love this tree. Oh my God, I love this tree. <clears throat> Bathroom. Wow, this is a large. Wow, look at this. That is huge, y'all. go from one side to the other and then he has the double doors french doors to come in the bathroom as well so that's cute wow i like that those mirrors are huge look at this shower really pretty it has like a little seat so when you shave it has a water closet remember those standard tile floors i like those i don't like grout though it's so hard to clean look at the closet it's a nice size. It's a nice size closet. <clears throat> I like this, y'all. Nice size. I think the square footage on this house is 2,016 square feet. I don't know. I'll find out for sure and have it on the screen. But look how big that sink is. I mean, the, um, yeah. That is huge, y'all. I know y'all can't tell from camera. It is huge. Wow. Okay, e gang, what did y'all think about that house? I like that house as far as like the builder. What do y'all think about like the craftsmanship and stuff? Um, I like it. So let me ask y'all a question because this one thing I'm torn between. Y'all know I have gray cabinets in my house now, which I absolutely love. I've had gray and white, and I think my favorite has been the gray. And with these builders, you know, you have the choice to choose. Um, more than likely, it will be a new construction home that we get. So, um, I kind of want gray, but then I'm like, okay, is gray 
even though they consider gray to be like a neutral color um i'm like is gray just a trend that's gonna go out like it's just is this just like a fad you know like a little trend because you know white is classy my parents have white cabinets and their house was built like 1990 something and they have white cabinets so you know white is classic it's forever but um i know some interior designers say gray is classic it's forever so i'm kind of stuck because i love the gray aesthetic i have in my house right now i love the gray with the gold i just think it is everything but i'm like okay will i get tired of that because with the gray and the gold you can do gray and black but it looks to me it looks better with the gold i don't know i have to see some black hardware that i like but with the white you can do black gold silver you could do more but i really really like the gray so comment down below let me know y'all thoughts on that like do y'all think the gray is like gonna go out of style or do y'all think the gray is gonna be here because y'all know cabinets are expensive to replace y'all even to just have painted it's expensive so i don't know what y'all think about that i love the gray look what y'all like i love the white too i think the white makes the house look like um very open and airy like you know the gray does make it a little darker but like not like my kitchen is not dark i don't feel like it's dark the gray does make it a little darker but i wouldn't consider my kitchen dark per se but i don't know y'all comment down below i'm so stuck on that like that's one thing i'm stuck on i cannot decide and boo he be like oh he just whatever i say that's what he gonna go like he be if i say great he gonna say great if i say why he gonna say why he just gonna say whatever to make me happy but i don't know i'm real undecided grill white like, i need you EK, i need y'all help friend i need y'all help anyway the kids dad just called and say he on the way to my house so i gotta go back to my house and get the kids or whatever and then we'll see where we're going next okay the boys are with us now say hi boys hey. <laughs> so i think i'm gonna they don't do y'all know about saint patrick's day it's saint patrick's day so i think i'm gonna tell you i wanted to do something for saint patrick's day like a movie night or something but i don't know if i'm gonna have time because boo had to work all day yesterday and um he didn't get none of the buildings done he didn't get off to like 12 something this morning they had a big building a big project um so none of the buildings got done so we gotta do all the buildings today y'all how about he just go facetime me to show me a fish he caught boy i don't care i ain't talking to you i'm not talking to you i don't want to see your fish i'm just playing but yeah i think i'm gonna take the boys to crumble cookie because they always normally have something for like each holiday like a cookie for each holiday you see they got a cookie and then we're gonna go to um the park i'm gonna let them play while i walk because yeah we still gotta get some exercise in but i gotta get some gas real quick all right y'all we're at crumble it's okay give me a hand cam so we're about to go pick a cookie. You ready for a cookie? Mm -hmm. Katie say he's sleepy, y'all. He get moody when he gets sleepy. Cam, you sleepy too? Hmm. No. No? <laughs> y'all, they be acting funny when they come back from their daddy house. Do y'all kids do that? Do they be acting funny when they come back from their dad house? Why y'all be acting funny? I'm not. I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being Closed. Do they close on Sundays? <gasps> I did not know they closed on. We never tried to come on a Sunday. They closed. Purple is I've never tried to come to crumble cookie on a Sunday. I did not know they was closed. So we're gonna go to Publix. I'm sure they got St. Patrick's Day um cupcakes. Some y'all want cupcakes or cookie? Cupcake. Cupcakes, all right. Cupcakes. Cookies. Cookies. Cookie what? is well, it's got icing on it. You want these? Or which ones you want? My little cookies. You want these? They're the same flavor. Oh. Gotta check the bogos. Oh, they got the Duke's man on bogos. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Baby. I love it. Baby. I need this Duke's Hey, baby. Come on. Alright, we get those. We'll just get canvas cookies too. We'll just get two different things. Oh, I was just eating. Oh, I just said this soup was so good. Katie, go run over there and get me a little bacon. I gotta get this. And the Duke's mayonnaise. She's right there. Oh, 
right there. Now I want, excuse me. Oh, this looks so good. Kiwi. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Wow. All right, y'all, we are finally made it to the park. So I'm about to walk and let them um, play on the playground. I can still see them. But yeah, try to get some cardio in. And then we got to run a couple more errands and got a couple buildings to clean too. So oh, it's going to be a long day. Long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on them private tracks, taking trips, come back at six, wake me and your child, and they won't lay today, make me wonder who you might have been playing with, makes me wonder who you think you're playing with, I'm just a myself to keep playing this, back and back, over and over again, sweat change, but I know that's the end, Good morning, E Gang. Today is now Monday. Yes, I know I look rough. Girl, I know. I am at the um track about to walk by the exercise. I didn't even only thing I did was comb my hair. I didn't flat out and brush my teeth and wash my face. So yeah, I I know I look a little rough, but we're here to get it done. I feel a lot better. Yesterday I did not come and say goodnight to y'all. We ended up going to my parents' house. See my mom and dad, and then we end up um, finishing the buildings and going home. And I was catching up on Love is Blind. Child, it's getting... I'm getting to the part where it's getting good, honey. It's getting good. So I have to give... Even though I'm late, I will have to give my full commentary um, after um, I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, let me get on out here. It's like 8 o'clock. I don't have to be to work till you know, right before 10. So let me go ahead and walk a little bit. Um, I still feel a little, uh, but I don't feel like I did yesterday. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get going. Turned up some space. Yeah. You're too far away. Okay, y'all, I made it through. I could barely breathe, but I pushed through. I thought my cold was a little better, but I don't know. Maybe I just need to, um, like, get under the humidifier or something. But, yeah, we got to go clock in. But I pushed through. Sick and all. Barely could breathe. I pushed through. How your highs going with y'all? Did y'all order y'all cold and brewing premium? I'm going to make sure it's linked in this video as well. Let's do this. Let's do this e gang. I'll talk to y'all later. I got to go to work. What's up, E Gang? It is later on in the day. And today, who you say that, old peaches? Um, why I came this way? Anyway, um, y'all, as soon as I got back home from, I was finna say the gym. See, I was finna lie. From um the track, it was time for me to clock in. So, no, I have not took a shower. I took a shower this morning, but I have not took a shower since I started from walking. And so what? Y'all, I don't know why soon I felt like I was feeling better, but baby, I still got this little ruckus pocus, hocus pocus. I don't know. I was so tired today. I know I be seeing a lot of people say they a nurse in my comment section. Tell me why you be so tired when you um got a cold. Your body be so ran down, y'all. This this my husband. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad talking to him today. We I I, I like him today. Hello. Hey. I'm on a bird game. Oh, I'm about to pass by the I'm um about to go to this health store child. I had to find uh, I had to set that bird king app up when I get the waffle. Double waffle seven nine and nine. I know everybody be talking about these apps at these restaurants and we don't never use them, but they say you save so much money if you start yeah, using I'm the apps. I'm gonna take a picture of Wobble with a call on the board when I show you. <laughs> For real. Yeah, yeah. What's called did that shit last night? He had it on his phone. 
And they got two waffles for 10 bucks and two fries and a drink. Damn. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I was on the phone with Boo. But I wanted to show y'all so y'all know it don't get as dark now as I when I get off. So we're going to try to look at a couple houses. This is Cedar Homes. Um, It's a new community. Let me show y'all the outside. So y'all know if you've been here, I love a white and black house, honey. It is a single story, but y'all, it just got a lot of character. Look at the windows. They're black. They have black windows here. Look at that. Y'all see it? <clears throat> black windows. They have stone it has a front porch. So yeah, let's go on in. Okay, y'all, so if you come through the front door, this is the dining room. I hope y'all can see they don't have electricity yet. Oh, they do, hold on. They do have electricity. Okay, so this is the dining room as you come through the front door. Um, we got two windows here. That's a pretty tall door. I would have to say this is probably 10 foot ceilings. That's nice. I'm not crazy about this color, but this is the model home, so that's why it looks like this. This is the bathroom. So, oh, they're gonna have a pedestal swing there. Oh, that's different. What are they gonna put there? I don't know. But this is the shower. It's cute. Nice details. That's nice. Okay, I see what they're doing. They got the blue going on. This is bathroom three. Okay, so this is three bathrooms. This is your first bedroom. It has windows, two big windows here. Standard closet, sliding doors. I believe these homes are um <clears throat> like upwards of like, oh look at the um the lights, those are pretty. I believe these homes started like 450. And I think they're all spec homes from what I was gathering the information. This is another bedroom. This is a look a smaller of the one we just seen, but it's okay for a kid. Front door, dining room, you can use it as an office. Tray ceilings. Then you go through here. Oh, yeah, I think it was a linen. Yeah, it was a linen closet right there, y'all. And then you'll just come through here. And it's another, like, a coat closet here. But look at this kitchen, y'all. Look at this. So pretty. It's really nice. Let me see. Look at that. So nice. Such a nice kitchen. Look at this. Yes, ma'am, they did. This is definitely some upgrades. Okay. Look at this, y'all. This is definitely an upgrade. Got your butler's pantry. This is an um, upgrade, y'all. <coughs> Kitchen is so nice, so pretty. Look at those painted lights. And then this is your um, living room because your dining room is behind us. So this is your living room. Pre-wired and hanging the TV. Um, master bedroom, train windows. I like this. Look at these floors, this is nice. Nice floors. Look like marble, but it's tile. Here, double vanity. Oh my God, that is a nice shower. Love, 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 love. The last, oh, look at the floor. That is pretty, y'all. So pretty. The last seat of home I saw, it was kind of cheap looking. You got a water closet, and then you also have a linen closet here. Oh, it's, you also have a fan. And then this is your closet. It's not that big, but it'll do. You have a covered, um, back uh, patio, lanai, and it has a fan also, wow. And look at the, I don't know if y'all can tell, but these are really big um, sliding doors. And then you have a bedroom here. Oh, okay, this bedroom has a bed, this bedroom has a bathroom. Okay, that's nice. So this bedroom has a bathroom. So three bed, three bed, four bedroom, three full bath, and this one has a walk-in closet as well. Okay, and then I think your laundry room is over here. This is this is really nice. This is really nice. See, I mean your fridge goes there. Laundry room. Oh, it's pretty wired for a security system. So out here, this community is just gonna be like it's a small community. I think it's 37 homes, and it's just like one straight road, and it's, it has a circle at the back. But yeah, it's nice. 
Okay, y'all, this is another home. This house has a brick paver driveway that is included when you purchase a home. As y'all can see, they're about to put stone here. This is a one-story. Your garage will look like this with the windows. Um, but I just want to see, like, the craftsmanship. Of course, you know, Boo wants a two-story. So, yeah, let's see. Um, no lights, so let's do what we can do. Okay, so this is a bedroom. Carpet. Double doors. Um, this is the bathroom. Y'all can't see. Can y'all see? Yeah. Another bedroom. Nice size. Double doors. Like the floors. Um, another bedroom. Nice size. More of the double doors. This is the builder that we saw the other day. <clears throat> and this is the kitchen. So they did the same thing in this kitchen, the brown and the white. Um, um, Y'all know what? I think this is kind of like, oh, yeah, this is the same floor plan. Um, Because they had that window. This is the bedroom. Okay, now that nothing is in here, it does. It's a nice size. Uh, the tray windows right here. Bathroom. This is that really large vanity that we saw last time. The shower. Okay. So, yeah, this is the same house, just different Um, with nothing in it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. What's countertops? Babe, I love a new house, okay? It's a large, larger room. And then this was that game room slash loft, whatever you want to call it. That's huge. That's big without any furniture in it. So yeah, y'all. Um I was coming by to see if they put the frame in the house that I showed y'all the other day in the last vlog. If you didn't watch my last vlog, go watch it. I was coming to see if they put the, um, not the frame, the, um, the drywall up because I'm, that is the one that I'm considering. So I wanted to see if they put the drywall up so we could see it together, but they did and it's still framed. So yeah, y'all, let's get to the test store. I gotta get gold to the test store. I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue. Bitch, you just want to send me automatic with a drum. Okay, she told me one pack of 42, three packs of 52 inch. So let me find it. Right, one pack 42. Three packs, if you can wear Need some hair to have. Permanent. I need to get permanent, permanent, permanent jet black. Alright, I'm gonna get this one because they out of jet black in the clear off. But Dr. Level is good too, so let's go. Alright, E gang, I'm going to close the vlog. I seen the um comment, somebody told me I need to hang that picture up. I just don't know if I want to put no more holes in these people wall. I want my damn deposit back. Me and that we are moving in a few months. But yeah, now you want to say hi to the vlog? What's up, Bob? Dead time, working all day. <laughs> He's the old, I told the people about the race car being burned up. Yeah. Any thoughts? Any remarks? Any close? Any closing remarks? Fucked mm, up. Who you think did it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, tell them what exactly happened. I couldn't explain. No. Car rate flooded. The car rate flooded. And then. What? Car go to fire. Whatever that means. Anyway. Don't y'all feel bad for Boo? <laughs> tell them how much you love the car. Just a little bit. The lies. The lies. Bye, you guys.